Hi, this is faster-eft.com and this is my first video. Today I'm going to talk about a specific phobia that I cured a specific person uh, that I worked on with this technique faster-eft.com and it's a really specific technique that, that's like you, that you can use on all kind of problems. We're talking about weight loss, we're talking about phobias, we're talking about bad memories, traumatic experiences, sexual abuse, physical abuse, emotional abuse. And with this technique, we clean out all the elements that build a specific trauma, uh, all the past memories that together are grouped to create some kind of a experience like for example we have a problem with our uh, parents or something of, uh, because of the abuse from the childhood and we have this we build this opinion about them that they abused us so with this technique we go into each specific memory and we just completely uh, get it down from a strong intensity to zero so it doesn't bother us anymore so the whole fucking the whole I'm sorry the whole uh, experience about the whole belief just collapses and that's how this technique works so uh, today I'm gonna talk about arachnophobia I worked on a person that had an extreme uh, extreme uh, fear of spiders for like from the childhood, she's like over 60 years old and whenever you would talk about the spiders and show pictures or she saw a movie, she would just run out of the room and that really happened. Uh, before the session we have, I, I send her like a um, picture of the tarantula and she just, I renamed it and I called it waterfall so she, so she would open up if it would be called tarantula.jpg she wouldn't open it so she opened it and she ran out of the room it, I'm not kidding she ran to the other room and then uh, we had a Skype uh, call connected so I could see what's happening and she was like sitting right where the door were and she was afraid to come back even if it was just a picture of a spider and I'm gonna show you how how we deal how we deal with this with this problem and her belief was that she has to be afraid of spiders what was the reason of her fear and this phobia arachnophobia like the fear was if I would measure it if I would give her the intensity from 0 to 10 it would be she said it was 50 so it was super super bad and uh, we just started with her belief I'm gonna just write here and explain like this is like a spider for example I, I'm not like good <laughs> and, and this is her this could be any anybody with a phobia, you know. And uh, she was afraid to go to touch, to even talk about the spider. She was running out of the room. And when we start, when she started explaining, I I started figuring out where her fear is coming from. And it's not something that she would just made up in her mind uh, it's that arachnophobia and most of the phobias are based on our experience from the past so what was the cause of her phobia of spiders uh, all kind of spiders uh, and she started talking about uh, her childhood and how uh, she was watching the movies with uh, spiders in it. It was like a specific movie from years and years ago, like for maybe 50 or 55 or 60 years ago, where she watched a movie 
in a uh, car movie when you driving with the car she was with her family and she watched the movie and in that movie you can see uh, the main actor was this big huge hairy spider that attacked New York and she was like a, just a child I don't know like a few years old and she like completely over, she was overwhelmed with that fear and the whole experience of that movie so she st started building uh, those memories uh, that built her uh, phobia and this is the arachnophobia phobia so this is her main fear and <clears throat> from that movie like she just remember just specific memories just short memories of that movie like one memory was like uh, spider attacking New York like huge spider then another and that was uh, the building block for her for her arachnophobia another memory from that movie was spider was so huge he had to step with each leg into another street in uh, in separate streets so it was so huge another um, uh, memory was uh, that she remembered her hairy the hairy legs on that spider another memory was uh, uh, how that spider was killing people another memory was that uh, <clears throat> people were screaming running away uh, so we had like 10 different memories and then we go and focus on each of those memory and get it the intensity from 10 maybe 20 30 even though you can rate from 0 to 10 the 10 is the max intensity like very uncomfortable maximum uncomfortable she said it's 30 sometimes 40 so she exaggerated it was such a big fear so when we go in and I helped her uh, go into each memory and we tapped it down and we just repeat and repeat the whole process and each memory uh, she blanked out few moments of that memory and that's how she pushed the memory into subconscious and that's how this like she couldn't relieve the whole experience so she pushed it into subconscious because she was just a kid and it was so real for her and that is our uh, subconscious suppression is our uh, natural protection against uh, trauma abuse and all kind of stuff uh, so as a child she couldn't process the whole movie as a grown-up like we can do it right now if you're a grown-up person so she pushed all this memory into subconscious so only the she only remembered the parts of those memories for example she could remember hairy legs but she couldn't remember the sound of the spider moving so when we tapped on her when we tap on specific uh, fast UFT points I'm just gonna demonstrate where these points are this is a human and we tap here here on the eyes tu, 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 and the collarbone here is the collarbone so we tap here and we have these three three uh, four tapping points and uh, that's how we bring each of those memories down to zero and as in the process of tapping she suddenly remembered the missing part of each memory so the with tapping we we were able to flush the whole suppressed memory the part of the suppressed memory out of the subconscious and she relieved it now as an adult person and so we erased out this 
intensity was, for example, 30, and then we erased it, so it didn't exist anymore, so we can erase it. We got it down to zero, then there was another memory when people scream, for example. She just remembered only a few seconds, and we tapped it again on those points, and going through the process like a few times from the beginning of that memory, and we got it again down to zero. Then there was another memory from that movie, like sitting there with her parents and stuff like that, and she did she suppressed uh, uh, some stuff there too in the subconscious, and we get it down to zero too. And there was another one. Uh, if I can remember, the the part the spider was so huge and has like eight legs or something. So that was another memory, and it was crashing the buildings and stepping. It was she said it was so big that it could not step with. Uh, it had to step into a separate street with each leg, and we get it down to zero too. So whenever she tried to remember that memory the she wasn't afraid of that memory anymore she could relieve it but it didn't, it didn't bother her anymore she could still remember it it wasn't wiped out of her memory but it didn't bother her anymore because she relieved it uh, by tapping on the specific points and the memory just kind of vanished. It's still there, she can go revisit, but it's not necessary because the charge is zero, the intensity is zero. So this was, so we got all the memories down to zero that built, that were building blocks for her arachnophobia, uh, fear of spiders. So later she could go at, after one hour she could go close to the computer and she could tap, touch the image on the computer. She couldn't do that before. If you, if, if you have uh, seen the people with phobias, it's really hard for them to, uh, to touch an animal or like uh, to confront their fear. So she was able to go uh, close to the computer, she couldn't do it before, and she was touching the pic the picture of the spider, and later she was able to watch the tarantulas movies on YouTube with no, no fear, no anxiety, no bad feelings at all. So uh, we fixed her arachnophobia in just one hour session, and the whole fear just break broke down and it disappeared and whenever now she people are talking about the spiders people are talking she could whenever she see a spider on the YouTube or she see a picture on the internet it's like she said even that she kind of likes them that they're cute and she's not afraid of them anymore and that's how we uh, fixed her fear of spiders and you can do that with all kind of uh, fears. Um, and that's it. If, if you have phobia, you can contact me and I can guarantee uh, improvement. I would say 100% fix of that specific phobia.